Mount St. Helens is a stratovolcano, a steep-sided volcano located in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States in the state of Washington. And in 1980, the eruption changed the lives of thousands of people. Sitting about 97 miles south of Seattle and 52 miles northeast of Portland, Mount St. Helens is the most active volcano in the Cascade Range and has the highest probability out of all U.S. volcanoes other than Hawaii and Alaska to erupt. But yet, no one wants to talk about it. Especially the uptick in seismic activity over the last three months. More specifically, in the last 12 days, where 27 earthquakes have hit the caldera at the volcano. Now, does this mean an eruption is imminent? Well, of course it does. Because prior to the 1980 eruption, which changed thousands of people's lives, this volcano had erupted regularly for 50,000 years and has still been erupting regularly. Now, prior to that 1980 eruption, Mount St. Helens had a shape of a conical volcano, sometimes referred to as the Mount Fuji of America. And you can see why that is the case. You can see in the background here from this 1970s picture, Mount Hood. And it looks very Japanese, in my opinion. Now, during the 1980 eruption, the upper 400 meters or 1,300 feet of the summit, that's a quarter mile of the summit, was removed by a huge debris avalanche, leaving a 2 by 3.5 kilometer horseshoe-shaped crater now partially filled by a lava dome. And this is some of the geology, and we'll get to that later, but let's take a look at that picture here. Here are the progressions of the lava dome and the new shape. This is the original peak from pre-80. Now, eruptions in the Cascade Range during the past 4,000 years have been pervasive. There was only one single lull, and that was about 300 years ago, when almost nothing went off. But for the last 4,000 years, the Cascades have been quite active. And just 200 years ago, during the Dalton Minimum, that's the red dotted line, we had as many as seven volcanoes in the Cascades erupting at similar times. Mount St. Helens erupted multiple times, almost a dozen times in the last 500 years. Lawson Peak twice in the last 500. And so the volcanoes in this region are quite active. And you can see the Dog's Head Daysite Dome here that is 2,000 years old, the Castle Creek Basalt on the top, which is 1,700 years old, Andesites from 1,700 years ago, and, and so on and so forth. So there are large effusive volcanic eruptions from St. Helens all the time, every few hundred years. And the recent activity is quite impressive. VEI-5 is not a typical eruptive nature of St. Helens. It typically erupts and often at VEI-2 and 3. And for those of you that don't know, we'll quick come over here to the eruptive history and we'll bring you up to speed. After the 1980, March 27th, VEI-5 eruption, there has been three major eruptions. Eight, nine years later, there was a VEI-2 on the north side of the lava dome. Then in 1990, there was a VEI-3 at that same region. And back in 2004, south of the 1980-86 lava dome, there was a VEI-2 eruption. And now it looks like we're ramping up for another puff, puff, pass or eruption. Some type of paroxysm may occur. The telemetry and, and the seismic data and the uplift do not show a, a potential VEI-5 eruption, but something is definitely afoot at the volcano. Now let's just discuss a little bit of general information about the volcano. Mount St. Helens was formed during nine eruptive periods beginning about 40 to 50,000 years ago and has been the most active volcano in the Cascade Range 
during the last 12,000 years. Now, prior to 2,200 years ago, tephra, lava domes, and pyroclastic flows were erupted, forming the older edifice. But few lava flows extended beyond the base of the volcano. The modern edifice consists of basaltic as well as andesitic and dacitic products from the summit and flank vents. And historic eruptions in the late 19th century originated from the Goat Rocks area on the north flank. And they were witnessed by early settlers. This must have been spectacular, as well as frightening. Because this mountain, well, is massive. And remember, a quarter mile was removed from the top in an instant. And the ensuing lahars, which are mud flows, Nue Ardent, which is pyroclastic flow, high-speed winds that move at almost 1,000 miles an hour and are thousands of degrees, move down the flanks of this mountain. And now it looks like, seismically, the volcano is awakening once again. No eruption since 2004, which was VEI2, but something is happening at the volcano. And we know from historical data that these volcanoes erupt always and often. Mount Jefferson is the only volcano in the Cascades that hasn't erupted in the last 4,000 years. Oh, and Crater Lake. So there's that. But it's high time for Mount Baker, Glacier Peak, Rainier, and St. Helens, as well as Mount Hood, Shasta, and Lassen to puff once again. And that's a boom to knowledge. Actual historical geologic information for you to bring in and make your own conclusions. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and stay tuned for updates on the uptick in seismicity at St. Helens. And be safe. We love you. Yeah.